crazy thing is they changed their bitmoji to a white person. I'm not capping. They changed their bitmoji to a white person. It was a black person before, but they changed it to a white person. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Welcome back to another video. You feel me? Hey, man, it's been a while, man. If you don't know who I am, I'm Dime of Dime Up. Cuz, man, if you are new, I want you to go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe to join the ride and be with your boy Dime. And if you already part of the ride, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Go ahead and like and comment. Oh, my goodness, almost messed that up. Hey, man, we back. I had to take a break off from school, break off of this YouTube thing because of school. And hey, this is my first free weekend. And I'm going to tell y'all this. We're gonna be uploading way more consistently now. Um, there's there my I I was able to figure my schedule out for now, and everything is gonna be great. There's gonna be weekly uploads, maybe three to four uploads a week, hopefully. So I want y'all to go ahead, turn those post notifications on, so you know when the next video is coming out. And I, yes, sir, I have a lot of other stuff going on. I have a slew of videos: iPhone 13 Pro Max unboxing, possibly coming this week, maybe. So if you could tell by the title of this video, man. This is how I got catfished. So basically, this happened a few months ago, a few months ago, maybe three to six months ago, right? Three to six months ago, I met this girl on the internet. Now, if you meet a girl on the internet, you already know it's kind of sus, especially nowadays, you know? You know, we was we was chatting and all that, you know? I was able to do voice chat with her and whoop de whoop whoop. But the crazy thing is, though, through these, like, I think about two months that we were actually, like, texting and whatnot, she never showed her face. So you mean to tell me that you, sir, did not try to think that this was a catfish when she never showed her face? Have you never seen the show Catfish before in your life? Dog, you stupid. And the and supposedly she lives in New York, right? She lives in New York. And and she goes by Jay. Now, me thinking, okay, this is all right. You know what I'm saying? Like, this feels okay. whoop de whoop, whoop I'm like, okay, I'm just talking to her, right? For about two to three months, we talking on the internet. I asked, every time I asked her to show her face, she never did. Now, when I told my homies about this, they were like, man, you got to watch out for that. They even said, bro, this, bro. They were like, bro, what are you doing? Like, I, I was thinking, what am I doing, doing this? But you know me, man. I like to, I, I got to see it through. I like to see everything through, you know? So, I kept talking to her. That's the worst idea you ever had in your entire life. Now, your boy being the naive person that he is, just keep, keeps talking to her, right? And just say, keeps, like, like, trying his best to see what she looks like. Or whoever this person is, looks like, you know? And as time goes on, I'm kind of getting fed up, you know? Like, you not showing your face. You, you, you not answering FaceTime. You not doing nothing. You know, you're not, you, 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 just talking to me over the phone and I'm not even seeing your face. Now, me, think, being naive, thinking that she, she's like very insecure about what she looked like. The way she represented herself over the internet made it seem like she was a genuine person. Now, anybody can make anybody feel like whatever they want to on the internet, right? I could be so down bad, you know what I'm saying? I could be like living a whole bad life you know my life is horrible and all that but i could still put on a front for the internet where in real life i'm just miserable you know i that could be the case for this person you know what i'm saying that, that could be the case but i'm get, kind of getting fed up you know everything i'm like bro what is going on why is this not happening why is this not working you feel me like why is she not answering none of the like why is she not wanting to show her face why is she so avoiding of the question you know i didn't want to seem like i was begging but you know what me being me had to know because for somebody like me, like me, I'm I have to know. Like I have to know everything going on. I have to know everything going on. So boom, I ask her friends. I text her friends. I seen what her friends look like and all of that. Right? I ask them. Funny thing is, they say they don't even know. Like they don't know what she looked like. And I'm like, ain't no way. Now I I already had a Snapchat and whatnot, you know. And she had posted to her story, and like when she posted to her story, she was very vigilant on not showing her face. Now her snap score was low; it was like 94, right? A 94 snap score, you know, you like that's kind of suspicious, right? Because you know most of the catfish or weirdos on Snap usually have us exaggerate, like a, a, a dog. <laughs> that you um a really slow like very 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 low snap score of like 56 to 94 basically that's a starting point and i'm like ain't no way so boom we just chatting it chatting it up chatting it up but she like really vigilant with how she shows her face you know and it's it's, it's really it, it really kind of irked me because this person you know that i've talked to 
isn't like who I've shown that I could be trusted doesn't want to show me her face and her friends don't even know what she looked like so that even makes more suspicion in my head we exchange numbers right we exchange phone numbers and whatnot and we start texting whoop de whoop whoop this is when she's not answering facetimes at all because I wanted to test it I wanted to see if she would answer the facetime but she didn't she declined it bro that her friends don't even know what she looked like my friends are telling me just to let it go leave it alone drop it you know and I'm like, I don't know what to do in this situation. Back then, I was the most naive person to, to like, I was very, very, very naive. Crazy thing is, like, me, I'm the one. I'm a very observant person. I will, I will observe anything. I will know when a person's lying to me. I will know when everything is going on. I, I was surprised. I didn't know what was going on here, even though I had such strong conviction that it was happening and so basically we were talking i asked her friends what she looked like they don't know and i already have her phone number so i'm like you know what man i'm just gonna drop this i'm a ghoster or whoever this is boom i ghost this person and basically i delete their number off my phone they text me again right the same number text me like maybe a few hours later and sends me a picture right like a picture of like this meme or something so i just leave it alone you know leave them on red and whatnot and bro tell me when I like they FaceTime me, I decline it. But when I tell me why when I go to my phone and recents, that same number that had been texting me, why was the name Joseph Kristen? You know what I'm saying? Joseph. Joseph. Joseph Joseph Christian. And that's when I knew I had to drop it. That's when I knew I had to drop it. That's when I just, boom, I blocked the number and everything. I told my friends. They all laughed in my face. You know, they all said, hey, bro, you should have known. You should have known. I, I'll take the fault. I'll take the blame. I'll take all the hits. All the criticism in the comments, go ahead, bro. Y'all could do that. I will take the blame. Y'all could roast me in the comments, man. I really should have seen that from the beginning, from the get-go. Uh, I haven't talked to that person in a while. And the crazy thing is they changed their Bitmoji to a white person. I'm not capping. They changed their Bitmoji to a white person. It was a black person before, but they changed it to a white person. Meg. <laughs> hey, I'm not capping. Capping is not my thing. I'm not capping. But hey, man, if you like this video, man, why not go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe to join the ride and be with your boy Don. Turn on those post notifications so you can get this iPhone 13 Pro Max unboxing reveal. You feel me? So, yes, sir. God bless. Peace out. 100. <laughs> uh, yes, sir.